I'm John Bolin from KQED, and we need to change pretty dramatically to meet the changing needs of the people of the Bay Area. We need to become as proficient at mobile, social, and internet media as we are at television and radio, and we need to dramatically increase regional coverage to make up for the cutbacks. But we discovered we really aren't set up to do this. And this is kind of a look at our, our current structure, our structure back in 2010, very siloed around platforms. So everything's self-contained in television. Most of the video happens there. Everything's self-contained in radio. Most of the audio happens there. NPR and PBS content come in. It's very linear, goes out over the transmitters, satellite and cable. And the down in the right-hand corner of the building, this is a representation of the building, you have the digital platforms that are also siloed. We do put all the video and audio we produce in radio and TV online, but that is not easy. The workflows are not uh, sufficient, let's say, to make that happen. Also, look at these little pie charts to give you an idea of where the content comes from. On television, 90% of the content's from PBS and other outside providers. On radio, 75% from NPR. But if you look down in the right-hand corner, online, 90% from KQED and local partners. So what do we do about this? We need to transform KQED into KQED digital public media instead of broadcasting and really do everything we do in our building differently. And that really starts with rebuilding the digital infrastructure. So we're taking Dillette across all of our platforms. Currently in radio, everything will be Dillette, whether it's a blog post, a video, an audio, everything goes into a single archive. All relationships are man managed under Salesforce, and we can really then become multi-platform instead of multiple platform. We also need to make a place in KQED, a physical place for innovation, so it's not something that happens in our spare time or you know, after work. And it isn't just content and creating products, it's leveraging technology to raise money on the new digital platforms so they're sustainable and also uh, the workflows within the building and how we operate. But the biggest single change is the content organization, which goes from being organized around TV, radio, interactive, and education to being vertically integrated teams that are organized around subject matter. So we started out with news, arts, and science. Logical, because those are the three areas that commercial media have cut back the most, and those are three areas where public broadcasting has a long history of expertise and, and institutional integrity. But when we were doing our planning, Tim Olson, who some of you may know, raised his hand and he said, I love news, arts, and science, but let me remind you, wine and food are the most popular things on our website. <laughs> so we decided we better add Bay Area Life in there as well. So it's four vertically integrated teams. And education is really in our DNA, so we keep that at the center of everything we do. There are educators in each of those units along with the content people, but the education department actually handles the interface with teachers and school systems to get the content from them. And then each of these teams has audio people, video people, bloggers, people who can do data visualization, and even content partnership managers because partnerships continue to be incredibly important. We still work with PBS and NPR, but we have many more regional content partners, more than 50 of them going from the Center for Investigative Reporting to the San Francisco Opera to the Academy of Sciences. So now you, distribution becomes much more multi-platform going out to the right, and we still have television and radio, and we will continue to have those as long as they're an audience, but we don't see them changing a lot. If you, you know, it's still gonna be mostly PBS content on television, mostly NPR content on radio, although we, with the regional content increase, we are producing more for those platforms as well. But most of the growth will happen on the new digital platforms, on social, mobile, and internet media, where, as you, we all know, the relationship is two ways. It's not just pushing content out, it's a lot more complicated. And this is also where the growth will happen in regional coverage. There'll be some on television and radio, but that little circle down in the right-hand corner of the previous chart gets to be an exponentially larger circle, still 90% content from Bay Area Partners and KQED, but much more of it and mostly on these new platforms. 
The reason we're doing this is to create a model not only that KQED can use, but that can be replicated throughout public broadcasting with what we learn. This has already happened with science, where we're the furthest along, where the National Science Foundation has funded replicating the KQED model at six other public broadcasting centers around the country, and that will increase in the future. Thank you.